Keep love the purple butterfly here. Otherwise known as people are seven on Twitter and YouTube, people are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and my soaps, purple butterfly soaps, can be located at people dot etsy dot com. And this day has been a challenge while I was making the challenge. <laughs> Okay, first thing, my tooth chipped. So I happened to have some recap it in the house. I went on ahead and put it there because it was cutting the skin on my lip. And since I'm on chemo, then I can't have cuts and I can't have abrasions like that because that can cause a bleed. And then bleeds can be very, very, very bad for me. And then I go to... Mixed the soap, everything was going fine, except for one little thing. I made mistake number one that every soaper is supposed to be aware of. I mixed a unknown fragrance in with the oils. So I shouldn't have been surprised, but, you know, stupid is as stupid does, and it's real stupid to use the unknown. And I used a... Uh, peppermint essential oil with it. That peppermint essential oil I know isn't the problem because I've made three or four different soaps with that same essential oil. I've made soaps with the coconut oil, the canola, the SS4, so forth, so on. New ingredient, lard. I'm really, really sure that the lard isn't the problem because everybody on the planet tells me if you really want a slow moving soap, you need to use lard. So I'm thinking it was that fragrance. Anyway, the batter was yellow. It had coconut oil, canola oil, lard, that fragrance. You know, I was doing an SS4. No sooner I get the lime mixed in, you know how you do the stir a couple of times by hand and grab the stick blender and <laughs> since I hit it with the stick blender, it started, I mean, just literally seizing, freezing in place. And I'm going, oh, no. So I took the spatula and I'm trying to stir it up. And I grabbed the SS4 because since that amount that makes the SS4 comes out of the existing water, you're going to have something that's lie heavy if you don't put it back in. So I'm putting it back in, but while I'm there, I grab the Coral Reef Blue, and I grab this, which is called the Fox. Didn't even know which color I grabbed. I just grabbed something. I sprinkled, sprinkled, start, 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 start putting it into the mold. Well, it made these little peaks and valleys that were they weren't going to go away because it was literally freezing in place. So I went on ahead and put a plastic wrap over it. Then I took my fingers and I just kind of like forced the design into it. Ended up with something that looks like brains. I think it's so being a smart aleck, so, you know, that's fine. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. By the way, yes, it's solid. Guess why? It seized and freezed and it is solid and it's only been six hours. Like, really? Look at that. Isn't that pretty or what, though? It smells amazing. And I know for a fact it's caustic. I put the pH strip on there, and it's going to need a little time to cool itself off. It's, in fact, it's still a little warm. But look. Is that funny or what? I mean, when I say it looks like brains, I mean literally it looks like brains. So, the only thing I could think to do after that happened, get it out of the mode, which was a little challenging, because, like I said, it froze in place. And I got it over here on my cutter, which... I'm not going to cut it yet. I'm going to at least give it the 24 hours it's supposed to have to, you know, solidify. And then at the end of the 24-hour mark, I'll go ahead and take my litmus strips and test it again and make sure that it's safe for the cutting. 
In the meantime, because I got it out the mold, because this is the only four pound wide mold that I have, it's all nice and cleaned out so I can go ahead and line it again and then the only thing I have to do is wait a minute. Yeah, it's got a slight split right there. Oh well. Live and learn, then get love. And then else I could fill that in with a little bit of um wood glue and then anchor it so that way it closes that gap. But this didn't even get to the you know it's like I put the oils in, I put the colors in, I was shaking it like this. And I hadn't even poured it in. In fact, the funnel's still over there. I hadn't got to that step yet. I mean, literally, all my colors are in the ready phase, except for these, since these are um, aquamarine. It's going to need some much education before um, it gets shaken up so for sewing and hopefully there will be no speckles because you kind of also use water to mix the aquamarine. The direction said put a tablespoon of oil in each of your cups, you know, and then add your color so forth and so on. And right about the time I started to shake it up, I went, oh, right, I, hmm. You know, that's when I realized, oh, I messed that up. I should use a little bit of water, then go ahead and put the oil in. But the two aquamarines are going to have a echo effect. Look at that. See that? Well, actually, maybe you can't see it. It's going to be a challenge getting that completely blended in. But I figured this little extra time it's going to take before I can make another batch of the base soap which will not have scent because part of the trouble was that new scent. And I'm taking out the lard. My general bath still doesn't have it. It just has coconut and canola, you know. And by the time I remake this soap, I know for a fact it will be a slow-moving, tried-and-true recipe because I'm going to use the same recipe I used for the point to listen challenge which was my um, first challenge, which was actually challenge number one. This is challenge number six. It's called Squeeze, or Squeeze Swirl. But apparently my soap is hearing impaired, so it hurts. Squeeze instead of squeeze, and that's what it did. <laughs> I took and I mean I literally got it in the mode in record time because I mean it went solid like that and I'm going to set up the new batch and I'll be back to show you what I got after that. Y'all stay blessed, stay tuned, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. People of seven. Purple Butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and my soap, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people dot com. Bye now.